<laughs> hey guys, it's me Minori. Welcome back to my channel. Hi. Guys, I'm bored. Well, maybe not really, but today I want to try out new like five minute crafts and stuff that you can do when you're bored. Some of these ideas from TikTok, some of them are just stuff that I've been wanting to do and some of them are my like original ideas. I honestly don't know how it's going to turn out, but hopefully this video will be like some kind of inspiration for you guys when you have like time to spare. And I just want to have fun, so I think that's what matters the most. So without further ado, let's just jump right in. Trying out some five minute hacks. Let's get started. Okay, so first off, I'm going to be playing with Stuffaloons. Um, I actually unboxed this like an year ago, so it's already opened. So this is actually a kit where you can like blow up a balloon and stuff some like presents inside. However, I've seen a lot of people use this to make like squishies. Oh gosh, this is going to be so fun. So let's see if it works. First off, you're going to need some kind of transparent balloon. However, today I'm going to be using these squishy balls and kind of remake them into like new squishies. These you can buy at like dollar stores. Look at how stretchy this is. This is just like a squishy ball with nothing inside. I'm just going to use my scissors and cut it open. <gasps> so here's a cut on the top and I'm just going to put it in like so. And as you can see, it kind of inflates inside. It's like magic. It's so cool. Now we can put anything that we want inside here. Okay, so before we start, this video is sponsored by Switchcraft. If you guys like the magical world, like me. If you guys like a little bit of puzzle game, like me. With a little bit of mystery and really pretty visuals, this is the game for you. And I have to say, I love this game. The magical feeling, the artwork and everything. It's just so, so pretty. Here, let me play a little bit and start. So let's start with book one, chapter one. Before my first ceremony, I had a vision of Lydia drowning. She promised to stay away, but I saw her at the ritual site. So her friend is in danger. Look at the art. It's all hand painted. Answer my question, then I'll answer all of yours. Okay, if you help me get back to Lydia, I'll answer your question. The bear, the fox, the owl, which one is most like you? So this game basically has everything. It has puzzle games. It actually has like a really nice plot and you get to choose your own adventure. So I'm going to choose Fox. I'm like you, a fox. So here's also some puzzle games and you're supposed to get all the butterflies. Ooh, nice. And magical. I love this song too. Yay. Oh wow. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> and the story is so great. The protagonist is a very strong female witch who's trying to help her best friend. The story also has 85 plus characters from a wide variety of cultural backgrounds, as well as disabled and LGBTQ representation. So yeah, let's play Switchcraft for free. Just download using the link in the description box below. And now let's go back to the video. Okay, so let's quickly make some slime. First off, some glue. Borax and mix. By the way, this glue already has like water inside, so you don't really need to add some water. Hmm, since the ball is pink, I want to add like a lot of random pink stuff. Maybe some pink glitter. Ooh. At one point in my life, I used to make like slime every single day. And now back to the cephaloons. All we're going to do now is to put the slime inside. So now we're just going to use a clip and clip up the opening. And here we have it, our very own slime squishy ball. It's so cute. Ooh, this is a great ASMR. I just really love how it's like shiny and shimmery and the bees inside makes it extra fun to play with. Okay, let's try making one more. Okay, so I'm just going to cut this open again and the reveal. Oh my gosh. Here we go. Three, two, one. I mean, 
honestly, this squishy was really cute itself, but you can buy the same exact squishy at the dollar store, so I don't think it hurts to like customize one. So now we have a completely transparent squishy skin. So how to customize? I want to make it into like a tapioca ball. So here I've got some pigment and some black beads. So let's start off with some glue and let's add some pigment. Let's see. Mm. Okay, that was definitely not the right color. It doesn't look like milk tea. Okay, let me restart because I'm really not into this color. Okay guys, let's restart. Again, some glue. And this time I'm going to add a different pigment. <gasps> it's so pretty. And I'm going to add some borax. I'm going to set this squishy like so. And pump. I'm going to put the slime in. And the beads inside. And now I'm going to take it out. And clip it up. <gasps> it's so pretty! I think this is a complete success. And I got everything from the dollar store. So this is how my squishies turned out. What do you guys think? So next up, I'm going to be painting on some CDs. This is like so popular right now on TikTok. So what you're going to do is to get some tape and we're going to peel off the layer on top. You kind of like press the tape on like so and pull. <laughs> okay, that was a total fail. It's not working. So here I've got like the stickiest tape ever and it does nothing. It's literally not coming off. I feel like I just got the wrong type of CDs. Um, I guess I got to go buy some new CDs. And I'm back. I just moved to Don Quixote, one of like the biggest stores in Japan. Maybe I can bring you guys with me one day. I went and got some new CDs. I also got some gloves to do some chores and some Vaseline for my lips and a nail polish remover, which I'm going to use later in this video. So I tried to get the really cheap CDs. Obviously, I didn't want to ruin the really expensive ones and I felt like the cheaper one's going to be easier to peel off. I just really, really hope one of them will work because if they don't, I'm sorry, but this project is going to be a fail. Okay, so the moment of truth. Three, two, one. <laughs> okay. So let's try the second one. Okay, no. This one does not work as well. So we're on to the last option. Guys, it looks exactly the same. <gasps> Wait, it comes with like one clear CD. Why? I literally don't know why, but this is a lifesaver. We can at least do one. So the reveal. I don't know guys, maybe the ones in Japan are made differently. I watched so many videos and I've seen a lot of people do it this way and it worked every single time. So I just really, really don't know what the problem is. And just out of curiosity, I'm going to try using some like acetone to see if I could kind of like dissolve it. And let's see. Nada. Okay, um, but technically you're supposed to be able to like peel this part off and make it into a clear CD. It actually came with one clear CD. So I'm actually going to use this one and do a quick painting. Today, I'm going to be using some Posca paint pens and paint some lemons. Hey, so guys, don't forget this video is sponsored by Switchcraft. I'm able to continuously upload videos because of my sponsors and it'll help me so much if you guys could check and download the game from the description box below. The more you guys help me, the more I can get sponsors and the more I can upload videos. So yeah, I would just love it. I mean, it's free and seriously, I really recommend. So don't forget to check it out, guys. And the CD, I decided to paint lemons, but I really wish I could make more in the future since I have a lot more ideas in mind. And this is how it turned out. You can always like hang it from the ceiling, put it on the wall, and use it as like a decoration. I was only able to make one today, but I'm still really happy with how it turned out. Okay, moving on. Okay, next up, I want to try making some stamps. So you will need a base and an X-Acto knife. So I'm going to put this aside. So today, I want to make my original character into a stamp. So, who to draw? 
Hmm. If you've seen my videos before, you may have seen her because she's been in my videos quite a few times. So, I'm just going to use my iPad to make this drawing a little bit easier to make it into a stamp. I mean, it's like almost impossible to make that exact drawing into a stamp since it's too complicated. Like, it has so much frills and eyelashes and lines that it's almost impossible to make something that detailed. It's also my first time ever making a stamp, so I wanted to go a little easy. I made the lines thicker and erased all the frills and made the clothing a lot more simple. However, this was actually still too complicated for me. Okay, so I'm done. And now I'm going to go print it using a laser printer. So I went to the convenience store and printed it out. Now I'm just going to cut it. And now I'm going to use acetone to print this onto here. Again, it's my first time. Hopefully it works. It's a little bit too big, so I'm going to cut it into half first. And using some nail polish and a brush, I'm just going to brush it all over. And the reveal. <gasps> Okay, kind of worked, but not like really. Good thing I printed out six, so let me try it again. This time I'm going to pour it into a cup first and kind of like pat it on. And the reveal. I would say it worked like 90%. I could definitely use this as a base, but it didn't turn out as pretty as I thought it would. Okay, I'm just going to quickly unbox my exacto knife. And we're ready. And now I'm just going to be really careful and try to cut around the lines. So, I've been watching a lot of these DIY stamp videos, but none of those videos really have any explanation. So, I kinda had to wing it and try out some techniques myself. But, I mean, all those short videos are like 10 seconds, and I seriously thought it would only take me like 5 minutes. I didn't think too much about it, but I soon noticed that this is not something that you can pick up in a day. And you will see why. <laughs> She lost her nose. Okay, this is so much harder than I thought. Okay, so after working on it for like an hour, this turned out to be a total fail. This part, I cut it a little bit too deep. And as you can see, it's about to like come off. I usually like doing crafts until I kind of succeed. I just don't really like giving up. But after doing it for an hour, I noticed that it's not something you can do it in a day. You need technique, you need practice. It's so, so hard. You definitely need to start from something really, really simple. Like, this was just too, too advanced for me. The people on TikTok made it look really, really easy, so I wanted to try it myself. But I really want to, like, applaud them. This is not something you can do in a day. So while I hate giving up, I can't finish this. Um, it was a fail. However, I don't want my art to go to waste. So, I'm going to use this drawing and print it onto my shirt, which is another very popular TikTok hack. I did it like a month ago and a lot of you guys liked it and you guys requested me to do it again. So I just went out and got this sweatshirt from Uniqlo. So let's get started.
Ta-da! And this is how it turned out. Ooh. I think it turned out really great. Would you guys buy it if I sell it online? I mean, it's cute, it's comfortable. I like how it turned out. Okay, lastly, I want to try making a small craft using a poppet. This is not something that I found online. It's something that I came up with and I want to try and hopefully I can make it viral. So, I thought it would be really, really fun if I could put like some slime in here and be able to like pop it. You know how it feels like really interesting when you like pop pimples? I want to make something like that using poppet. FYI, this was what I had in mind. There were toys that went viral a few years ago where you could put like slime in and pop it like a pimple. This video is like from a few years ago when I unboxed the toy, but like look at it. It's so satisfying. Hopefully it works. I'm sorry if it doesn't. First off, I'm going to make some small cuts on the very top. Okay, front knot. There's a small cut on each one but it still works as a normal poppet. It's definitely not ruined. Like you can't even tell that there's a small cut. So even if this craft doesn't work, I still didn't ruin a poppet. Okay, next up, let's make some slime. Okay, so here we go again. Some glue, water. I'm going to make it purple today. Does it look purple? It kind of looks like blue. I mean, it's okay, it's still really pretty. Let me add some sparkles. Mix. And I'm slowly going to add some borax. Perfect. Now back to the poppet. I'm going to fill it up with slime. Okay, next up, we're going to get some tape. And we're basically just going to tape up the back. And we're ready, guys. Let's see if it works. I'm just going to push it. Okay, I think we need to put a little bit more slime. Okay, nice and full. Let's see if it works. Okay, so that's it guys. I have to say I'm really happy with how the squishy turned out. I mean, it's like perfect. I also really like how my CD turned out. I would love to put this up in my room as like a decoration. The stamp kind of failed, but I mean, I really like how my shirt turned out. But yeah, I had a lot of fun. So thank you to Switchcraft once again for sponsoring this video. Don't forget to check it out from the description box below. Anyways, that's it for today. I'll see you guys next video. Bye.